that keep those right there. Okay, so Mr. Bo and Thomas are on another portion of the property. Uh, they're doing their thing. I think Bo might be gold prospecting and I think Thomas is looking for some open mines. Keep in mind now, even though that we're on this property and we do have the permission to dig, we are also here to do research for the owners. You know, they want to know where every structure was. They want to know of all the relics that were recovered. They want to know about the open mines, the pits, the gold, everything. Um, so the, some of the time that we are here um, is why you'll see me off away from them because I am actually looking for um, other sites that are on the map. So I've looked on the map from 1880, I believe, 1890, somewhere in there maybe. Uh, there's a home site up on this ridge somewhere and that is what I'm gonna look for now. I'm using the Note to Macro Amphibio Multi today uh, and we're just gonna kind of poke around here and see if we can find it here. Now, I don't see any daffodils um, right off. I'm kind of looking, I see some wild onions growing, but I don't really see any unnatural vegetation. I know I'm in the right general area, so I'm gonna turn the machine on. I'm gonna be hunting in two-tone EUD mode, and uh, we're just gonna see what we can pick up. As soon as we come across the home site, We'll flip you guys back on and get it on camera. Let's get to it. Sweet! So I wasn't gonna record this uh, because I just thought it was another piece of iron, which it is a piece of iron, but it's a really, really cool piece of iron. Can you guys see it? You know what it is? This, I'm like 90% certain, is a buggy step. So this would have been affixed to the bottom of the buggies you know, down low, past the wheels, and this would have been the step they would have stepped on to get up into the buggy. Now that is pretty sweet right there. I think the owners will definitely probably want this, so we will pack this out, we'll run it through electrolysis and coat it so it's nice and preserved, and then we'll present it to them when we go to present them with all of our other documentation. That's pretty sweet right there, man. We'll definitely hold on to that. Let's, uh, let's see if we can find the other step. All right, so I'm walking through the woods looking for this home site. And looky, looky, it's a little painted turtle. Hey, buddy, how you doing? He's hissing at me. Let's see if he's painted. Oh, yeah, man, he's pretty. He's a pretty little turtle. We're going to let him be. Just want to show you guys that. I always, turtles are good luck. So I'm going to take him as an omen and uh, assume that we are close to the house to find gold and silver. Never know. All right, so I got a signal here. It's a mid-tone. However, you guys see those things down there? Now, for those of you that are from up north and out west, we have what's called fire ants. These are not fire ants. However, they hurt twice as bad. Uh, these are carpenter ants. So these ants eat wood. They get in rotten stumps and whatnot. And man, I tell you, they pack a punch. Uh, so I think their nest is actually over in that rotten log. So we're going to dig right beside that, not to disturb their nest, and uh, see what this signal is. We'll set you guys up. We'll dig it together. What do you say? the signal is right here their nest is right back here so it should be good but it's hitting a 37 to 40 it's hitting a mid-tone that is ringing in the gold range ironically but I'm pretty sure it's not gold but you never know all right it's out it's out oh I think I see it oh no Looks like we've got, get over here in the sun so you guys can see. 
I think what we have here, yep, so this is a harmonica reed. So this was a musical instrument, of course. This is a, very, a much later one. This is not the, uh, the solid brass harmonica reed. This was made of like a, a pot metal, um, aluminum pot metal type material. So this is probably, I don't even know, I'm going to optimistically say 1920s, 30s, somewhere in there. It's definitely still a relic. We'll definitely still record it and uh, see what else we can come into before it gets dark. Let's get back in. All right, can you guys see that? Uh, so I think I've got it. I think it's a piece of iron. Uh, it's up underneath this root. And I think the reason that it was ringing so high is because it's, it's flat-ish. So there we go. Got it out. You guys know what that is? It's pretty sweet, man. That is an old hoe. So we are definitely on the home site. Um, you know, obviously, all of these woods that you see around me was at once farm field uh, and they were farming it for you know whatever they were growing but that's pretty cool man that's a, a really nice relic if it wasn't being up i might would keep that uh but i'm definitely going to take a picture of it definitely going to gps the coordinates on it in case the owners want it we can come get it clean the dirt out so you guys can see it a little better so there it is so this would have been a I would say late 1800s into the 1900s uh, hoe. You know, so the wooden handle would have gone in here. I guess, yeah, would have gone in here like this. They would have drove nails on the top of the wood, you know, to keep the wood tight in the handle. Um, I know some of the old timers, especially like my granddad, they would put the whole thing in a bucket of water, the wood would swell, and it would keep it nice and tight on the hoe. But that's a pretty cool relic, man. We'll definitely take a picture of it, definitely record it. And uh, like I said, if they want it, we'll come back and get it. Let's move on to the next one. This thing right here out of the ground, not really sure what this is, uh, but it just looked interesting, so I flipped it out. And looky, it's a little glass snake. So everything that you find isn't always relic related. Hey, buddy, calm down there. Calm down, buddy. <laughs> Check him out, man. Sweet little snake. Must have been sleeping. Wait a minute, buddy. Wait a minute. Can we look at you? Check him out. Man, isn't that cool? All right, we're gonna let him go. All right, go back down to your hole, buddy. There you go. Basically right beside the hoe, I've got another signal here that's uh, hitting relatively high. It's hitting uh, 89 to 90. So let me move you guys back a little bit. Now this could be another piece of flat iron or this could be something else like a gold coin. <laughs> oh man, wouldn't that be sweet? All right, let's check it and see if we got it out. Hope it's still in the hole. Oh no. It's changed on me a little bit. Now it's kind of, let me move you guys. Now it's kind of uh, a little scratchy, iffy. Uh, so I'm thinking it might be iron. Yep, there it is right there. So this could be uh another portion of the hoe that broke off of course or it could be uh you know some other sort of tool implement or tin roofing or something of that nature i got a pretty good signal right here i thought i'd dig it with you guys live let me find it again it's right in here and it's kind of jumping all around on me too but it sounds good enough to dig. And directly behind me back here, I just noticed some daffodils. So I may have been on the outskirts of the house and now I'm actually on the house. Let's see if we got it out. All right, so it's still in there. I suspect this is probably gonna be iron 
um, you know, with all the mineralization that's in the ground, plus all the iron from the old home site. But I've been wrong before. Let's see if they got it. All right, so it's overloaded. I think this is it right here. Yep, there it is right there. So that looks like some sort of hinge, maybe off of a, I don't know, barn or a door. Yeah, there's the hinge pin in it. So that's not terribly old, uh, but it's definitely a relic from the home site that we're gonna sit right here beside this limb and fill this hole in uh, and move on to the next one. There we go. All right, let's see what else we can find before it gets dark. So I just dug a piece of iron right here, you know, some sort of farm implement, and I'm seeing the brick again, the big chunks of brick, and I actually just chopped into, I think it was already broken, but chopped into part of a bottle. Now this glass is really thick, and it's embossed. So, you know, we could be looking at 1890s, or we could be looking at right around early turn of the century into like 1910. There's a lot of bubbles in that glass. So I'm gonna assume that, oh, that this, is, uh, this is older, but we're gonna take this out so we can present this uh, to the owners, you know, just as like a little extra collage in the case. That's pretty cool. Maybe we'll find a whole bottle. Wouldn't that be sweet? Got about 15 more minutes. So I got a pretty loud 79 right here but I actually see it and I think it's a big piece of iron I thought we'd try to get it out together and see what it is man check that dude out that's another hoe that is just a giant one I mean that thing is huge I don't know that I've ever uh, personally seen one quite that big let's knock some of this dirt off of it ow I just cut my finger off almost uh, yep, that's definitely gonna bleed. Let's beat some of this dirt out of it. So we can get a better look at it. Man, check that thing out, dude. That thing is huge. We might take that one out on the way out uh, just because it's in a little better shape and I think I can bend this part out, um, you know, and get it in electrolysis, maybe without it breaking. Um, but man, that's pretty cool, dude. All right, so I made it back to the bike, and it is right at dark. I mean, like I don't see the sun anymore, so I know we've got about 15 minutes or so, 10 minutes to actually get out, which is no big deal. There's lights on the bike, so I mean, I can drive back in the dark. I've just got to be able to get out of here, and I know it doesn't look that bad, but right up there, it's kind of, kind of thick. Um, so let me show you what I got. Not much, but I did get something. So I got a really cool buggy step. That is actually the first one of these that I've ever dug. Uh, and that's going to be a really neat piece cleaned up, I think. I got the giant hoe. I got the other hoe that we left there. A couple pieces of porcelain and the bottle shotgun shell. And then the other thing is that you guys saw me dig. I really hope you guys enjoyed this little adventure. I know I sure had a good time. If you like the content that you see, please be sure to drop me a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button. Good luck on your adventures, and we'll see you guys next time.